Happy birthday to you. If Emily Steele knew it was her birthday, this surely isn't how she'd choose to spend it. Hey, you're 90 today, Emily. With advanced dementia, Emily. she finds it hard enough to recognise her family via video call. They are virtual strangers. Emily! Nana! That's her 90th birthday, and that could be her last birthday. And I've said happy birthday probably for the last time on a video screen and not the way it should be. Just looks devastating that they're doing this. Emily will get to see her presents, but not the family who delivered them. Visits aren't allowed at her care home. This was her when they were first banned. And this is Emily now, after six months with little family contact. No, she just doesn't even know us. And I feel I've let her down because I can't do for her what she did for me when I, I, she's a child. She's lost the ability to be an adult. It's frustrating and it's heartbreaking. And what's your biggest fear about all of this? She's going to die without a cuddle or a kiss. Hello, Dolly. Since the summer, Hello. some families have been reunited, but it depends on local lockdowns and the care home's discretion. Now, ITV News has learnt legal action will be launched this week to try and force the government to allow more visits in England. As today, the care minister promised a trial testing of relatives as one way to let them in. I am planning for us to launch a pilot on that shortly. I can't give you a date, but what I can say is we're moving forward with it. Hello, Ray. But if it appears relatives like Debbie are within touching distance, there are constant reminders of their separation. Right. Her husband's home talk. tried testing families to let them touch, but it took five days to get the results back. That sense of touch is absolutely critical to him feeling safe and supported. To see him like this, I mean, not being able to help him, it's just, it's difficult to come to terms with. Come on, then, so, while controlling visits protects life, increasingly, families ask if it's one worth living. Paul Brand, News at 10.